Hey everyone, welcome back to our channel. It's Carly here. Today I'm going to be sharing my everyday, easy, simple, five minute makeup routine. It's this makeup that I have on right now. So if you wanna see how I did it, then just keep watching. Okay, and this routine really does take me five minutes, but since we're gonna be talking through all the products I use, it'll be longer. But normally, every day, it'll take me between like five to seven minutes. So to start, I always use a tinted moisturizer. I love the Bare Minerals Complexion Rescue or the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. And I just switch between both of these. They're both really sheer. I find that the Bare Minerals is more dewy than the Laura Mercier. And I have a darker shade in Laura Mercier, so I'm gonna use that today. And I don't prime on a daily basis. I do believe in primer, but I just don't do it on a daily. So for my base, I just take a tiny amount, like this much, and I'll just kind of dot it on, oh, sharp some, dot it on my face, and then just blend in with my fingers. So super fast and simple. Um, I love that the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer smells like sunscreen. It's just a comforting smell to me. I really, really like it. For my everyday concealer, I use the Glossier Stretch Concealer. I love how dewy it makes my under eyes. I have the shade Medium. I wish I had light for under my eyes because it's a little dark for there, but I'm gonna order light pretty soon. And I actually love to apply this with a beauty blender or any beauty sponge. This is the Flower Beauty Sponge. I cannot remember who I saw do this in a video, but it really does amplify the coverage of the stretch concealer. I find when I apply with a brush or my fingers, it's really sheer. But when I go in like directly with a sponge, it really adds to the coverage. So I just put that under my eyes and I think it just gives the prettiest effect for an everyday natural look. I think it's just so pretty. I actually didn't like this product when I first got it and now I, I use it every day. So it just shows you the more you use something, you can really change your opinion. Okay, if I have any zits or any spots that I wanna cover up, I use the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I have the shade Creme Brulee. And I actually just use my finger, like I'm trying to be fast in the morning, so I just use my finger and I'll, I only have really this one that I care about. And I just kind of like dot it on and then dot around it with my finger. Ignore my nails, I know they're horrible. Um, and sometimes I'll go over with a beauty blender, but for the most part, that's just what I do. It's I love this concealer for covering spots. I feel like nothing else really works better. It has a great like demi matte finish so it looks really natural and pretty and then some days like I'm gonna do this today I feel like my eyelids look really dark I'll just go in with this concealer on my eyelids and this works as a primer or if you just want to cover up that darkness it works really well I don't really use eye primer ever because as you'll see I don't wear eyeshadow on a daily basis now I'm just going to lightly set my face and I'm going to use the Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder. I just have a lid right here and I just really lightly go everywhere. I don't really want to get rid of like the dewy look but I am going to be using powder, bronzer, and blush so I really want those to go on even and I find that just doing a little layer of powder helps a lot. And my T-zone does get a little oily recently, so it is nice to have some powder on there. Okay, for day-to-day -day bronzer, I rarely change it up. I love the Bobbi Brown Bronzer in Golden Light. It is, what's, what's the number? It's number one, so this is the lightest one, I guess. And it's a matte bronzer. It's a really neutral tone, so it almost like chisels your face too. It's like a bronzer and contour in one. I love this bronzer. I will continue to repurchase forever. And I use the e.l.f. stipple brush. Sorry, my mirror's over here. And I just lightly dust this on my face. As you do bronzer. Okay, for blush today, I'm going to be using the Bare Minerals Gen Nude Blush and Call My Blush. This is my new favorite, but I actually switch up blush pretty often, like every day. <laughs> um, if I love if I want a cream blush, I'll always use the Glossier Cloud Paints and I mix Dusk and Puff. And if I want a powder, I'll just switch through my collection. But currently, I can't get away from this one. It's like this pretty pink mauve shade and it looks so natural once it goes on the skin. Like, you'll see. It's just like 
the prettiest pop of pink but it's like that's so sheer but I love that because it's a little buildable but because of the texture of the powder it almost looks like a cream like it just blends into your skin I can't get over it I want every color I think they're so pretty I go a little heavy-handed with blush um since I don't really this isn't like a ton of makeup I find that you can do that and it just looks really pretty and fresh I am going to blend it out a little with my bronzer brush. Okay. Okay, so next is highlighter. And again, sometimes I'll use cream or liquid highlighter. Sometimes I'll use powder. But when I do use powder, I almost always use this one. It's the Laura Mercier Matte Radiance Baked Powder. And if you just do like one layer, it's super natural and pretty. I've, I use this all the time and I'm just shocked that I haven't hit pan. I don't really understand. Um, and this is the Anastasia highlighting brush and I just like to kind of go in circular motions. I love watching Raya Leonard and she does this. It's such a good technique to really buff the product into your skin. For eyeshadow, I usually don't wear eyeshadow on a daily basis. I'll either go in with bronzer just in my crease, which I'm going to do today, Aura, I've really been into ColourPop's Super Shock Shadow and Hanky Panky. It's only like one shade darker than my skin, so I just really like that it gives this like really natural wash of color all over the lid. But today, I'm just going to go in with bronzer. This is the Sephora Pro Crease Brush, my same Bobbi Brown bronzer, and put that in the crease. Okay, and then some days, I forgot my setting spray here, but some days I'll go in with a setting spray at this point, but you don't have to do that when it's like just really light natural makeup. And so next step will be mascara. I always curl my lashes. This is the, it's the Shiseido. Yeah, Shiseido Lash Curler. I love it. And so you don't have to watch this. I'll just skip through it, but I'm going to do that now. Okay, my lashes are curled and I'm going to go in with Maybelline The Rocket Volume Express. I'll also do this off camera, but I just wanted to talk about it because I recently tried this mascara. I know it's been out for a while and I really like it. I love the wand. It's really hard to take off, I find. Like, it has this weird texture when you start to take it off. Like, the black just kind of gets everywhere, but I think it's worth it because it lasts all day and it's a really nice wand. But the only downside to this mascara concealer combo is that because this is so emollient, this mascara tends to run on my lower lash line, but I really like both of the products, so I usually just wipe it with my finger and it's fine, but just wanted to let you know. I feel like the stretch concealer does that with a lot of my mascaras, but it is what it is. Okay, and next is brows, and on a day-to-day -day basis, because I have a lot of brow hairs, um, I'll always comb them up and then just go in with a brow gel. Um, when I want a more bold brow, I'll go in with a pencil first, and that's like any day I wear more makeup than this, but on days where I wear just this normal makeup, I just go in with the Maybelline Brow Precise Fiber, Fiber Volumizer. I love this. I, we've talked about a lot of brow gels on our channel, and this one is definitely my favorite. Um, I love the ColourPop one too. I didn't really like Boy Brow. I love the L'Oreal one that has a skinny wand, but this one, this one is the best. I love it. And you'll see, I just kind of brush it through. It has this like really fine tooth comb that really gets every hair. And the color is perfect. This is soft brown. It's perfect for my hairs. And then the end, it kind of holds product. So where I have like sparse areas on the end here, I can just kind of go like this. And that's really nice because you don't even really need a pencil because you have the end that really just places the product wherever you need it to go. Okay, so that's what one brow looks like after and before. I think that it's really subtle, but it's enough that my brows look more refined, I guess, a little bit. I kind of make them crazy because I brush them up. Okay, and last but not least is lips, and on a daily basis, I'll either just put on some Generation G by Glossier. I really like Like, 
that's probably my favorite shade it's just this really nice mauve tone and super sheer but I also just love lip liners the two that are my favorites are the bite lip liner and number 36 I'm going to use this today and then I also love Charlotte Tilbury pillow talk and I love lip liners because you can outline your lips and like overdraw them a little bit but then still fill them in and if you have a neutral color it really looks natural and nice so I'm gonna do that today and number 36 is just my favorite. It's like really close in tone to my natural lip color. And also if you think it looks like too much with such light makeup, I'll just go in and blot my lips. And I feel like it just makes it, it tones it down a little bit and makes it more smooth. Perfect. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. We really want to do more tutorials on our channel and we are really into this type of makeup. Like easy, everyone can do it, simple because it's what we do on a daily basis. So if you like these type of tutorials, then give this video a thumbs up so we know. And if you have suggestions on any other types of tutorials, then just let us know in the comments below.